I'm Sally Swenson, uh, coordinator at the Assiniboine District Historic Museum. The museum has been around for a number of years, since about 1974, and this place we've been here for 27 years. And the Assiniboine Museum offers uh, things back to 1912 and beyond that. The Assiniboine District was before the province came in 1905. Then when they brought the tracks in, in 1912, Leeville, a town that was very close by, had moved to Assiniboia because that's where the CPR tracks said and everything. So we do have a little train, we do have the post office, we do have a general store, we have a haunted organ and we do have a barber shop that came from the Franklin Hotel that burnt in 2008. I got involved just because I've always been interested in history, local history, about the cars, because we have a collection of old cars, so I mean I'm quite interested in that. And I mean just helping people. Because I mean, when they do come as visitors, they're looking for information. So I like to help people with that and just say, hey, this is what we have. And we want you to look and come and ask us questions if you do have them. And the one thing they do notice, we have uh, a set that's from about the 1950s. It's a green couch and chair, and they'll say, I remember going to my grandma's place and she had a couch just like that. It maybe wasn't green, but they're like, that was from the 1950s. Remember going over? So they do have a lot of memories when they see that. A lot of people look at the barber shop and they're like, oh, I remember going there in the Franklin, you know, getting my hair cut, or I went with my dad or my grandpa. And I mean, there's a lot of memories that they do share, or they'll see we have dentist chair. There was not as comfortable as they are nowadays. I have to say that. They're definitely not where you can go back and you don't have all the foam and everything to rest on. Plus, I mean, if you look at the car collection, like some of them are very unique and very rare. And I mean, just to know that there's people that have come forward and donated, wanted to keep the history going in Assiniboia and the district, and that's really a great thing to have. I'd like to invite you to come and see our car collection. We have quite a few cars from the Farquhar collection. One of the special ones that we really like to show off is, is our blue Fargo Ford Fargo, quite popular here in Saskatchewan at the time, helped them to move the grain and uh, use on the farm. They didn't have big tractors and trailers that they have now. Another car that we have that is quite popular for our visitors is the amphibian car, which goes both on the land and the water. There's only, I think, 300 in Canada. So we're very fortunate to have that. My favorite car of the whole collection is the uh, Camper. It's a Model T and you bought the kit and it's all wood and it tr created a Camper way back when, before camping was popular. <laughs> As I said, this is the Far Car collection. When he passed away, his wife donated the whole collection to the museum. The town very kindly built the extension so that we could exhibit all the cars together. It's quite a, a draw for people to come. During the parade, we like to have at least one car to have in the parade. Usually it's the Model T with a rumble seat. We'd love you to come and see the full collection, not just the few that we've talked about today. Well, I have a few. I wouldn't say just one. Um, I do like the Haunted Oregon, just because of the story behind it. One of my favorite vehicles is the Blue Fargo, probably personally because my dad had a Fargo. So, I mean, there is that touch to it because it is sort of a personal thing there. And you can relate to a lot of them because your dad or your mom had a Studebaker or they ride up with, you know, their parents came up to different areas and they had a 4A or a 4T. It just, there's so much things that you can look at and think, oh, 
each of my relatives have told me different stories and I'm thinking I can relate to them and it make you can feel good about knowing that story back. You can contact uh, Sinboy Museum. We have uh, an email is assini.museum at sastel.net. We do have a website which is a cine, which is assini.museum.com and there is a sheet there that you can contact us directly, chat with us and we we'll, can get back. We're also on Facebook which is Sinboy and District Historic Society and we do have a message button on there. Our phone number is on there as well. We're looking forward to a great summer this year and a full season. 2023 is looking good so far so we hope to see you guys soon. Have program ideas you'd like to see on Max TV Local? Let us know at sastel.com/local.